Hello, my name is Lawrence Colbert. Do you believe that people go through different stages in life? And that those stages are dependent upon your age? Well, if you said yes to both of these questions, then do not turn off your TV. Let's consider moral judgment, reasoning, and development. My dear friend, Piaget helped me realize my love for cognitive and behavioral development. Growing up, I felt a need to help others. I graduated from a private school, high school that is, but did not go to college right after. Now I wanted to help the Israeli cause. But there I was made the second engineer on an old freighter carrying refugees from parts of Europe to Israel. After this, I came back to the U.S. and enrolled at the University of Chicago. There, I received my B.S. in just one year. I stayed at the university for graduate school and also did work in psychology. I thought I wanted to become a clinical psychologist. However, Piaget and I began interviewing children and adolescents on moral issues. I then developed my doctoral dissertation of my stage theory. If you are getting bored, please don't turn your ears off yet. This is where it gets interesting. Stay with me. I have something for you to think about as I go through my stages of moral reasoning. If you don't study human morality, then you're missing one of the most important ingredients in human behaviors. It's like trying to study dogs, but not studying their sense of smell. Or like trying to study birds and not studying how they fly. Now, let me ask you, have you ever sat and thought about why you make decisions that you make? Well, let's begin. First, I came up with three levels. In those three levels, there are six stages that are broken down into your moral reasoning. The first level is called the pre-conventional level. Now, this level of judgment is based solely on a person's own needs and perceptions. Also, I want you to think about the ages I identified with these stages. At this level, I noticed it starts at age 4 and continues until age 10. Stage 1. Punishment, Obedience, Orientation. Here, a child's moral judgment is motivated by a need to avoid punishment. For example, I do not say bad words because if I do, mommy will get mad at me. Stage 2. Instrumental orientation. Here, a child's moral judgment is motivated by a need to satisfy their own desires. For example, for a cookie, I will pick up my toys. Now, on to level two, which is conventional morality. This starts at age 10 and continues through age 13. So a very short span. I believe moral values reside in performing good or right roles and maintaining the convention order and in pleasing others. So we move on to stage three, good boy slash nice girl orientation. Here's the reason why I call it that. Here moral judgment is motivated by a need to avoid rejection disaffection, or disapprove from others. An example might be a child saying, I do not eat in class because my teacher does not like it. Now, stage four, law and order orientation. Individuals' moral judgment is motivated by a need to not be criticized by a true authoritative figure like maybe a teacher. So here's an example. 
one might say, I do not talk during a fire drill because that is one of the rules. Now the last level we have to look at is the post-conventional morality, which is adolescence through adulthood. Here judgments are based on abstract, more personal principles that aren't necessarily defined by society's laws. Stage five is realistic, legalistic, sorry about that, orientation. Individuals' moral judgment is motivated by community respect for all, respecting social order, and living under legally determined laws. For example, you might say, I pay taxes because it's the law. And finally, stage six is called universal ethical orientation. Individuals' moral judgment is motivated by one's own conscience. Or you might say, I pay taxes not because it's the law, but because it's the right thing to do. So, now, think back to the examples and ask yourself, did I ever think or say those things? If you said yes, then please consider me as your president. Together, we could create a sense of community and understand each other's and the world's reasoning. And in turn, the world would be a better place. I am Law Lawrence Kohlberg, and I believe that you can make a difference. Thank you.